first reaction? Yeah. I haven't had it yet, so I'm, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, I don't know. We have three minutes. I'm fine now because we've been talking about things other than the duck egg, and so my mind has been distracted by other things besides that. But, you know, until then. Huh? I don't think it. Yeah, that's nasty. I thought it was solid. I... You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. I don't. What does that mean? It's either I mean? solid or it's not. <laughs> Are you afraid? Because you're not trying it. She's <laughs> really, she should try it first. I mean, if I had. She should try it first. If she can spit it out, then we'll. <laughs> Disclaimer to anyone who is Vietnamese or has tried this dish before, if I happen to not like it, this is no means to offend your culture or your food. It's just that my palate apparently just cannot handle the awesomeness that is the duck egg. So really, it's not you, it's me. Just letting y'all know. Excellent disclaimer. Because, no, I, like, if I do like it, I'll be, I'm not going to say that I'm going to be surprised if I like it, but if I do like it, that's going to be like, okay, so I do like this. I'm, I'm not going to just go to, like, you know... The, the store and buy some, although maybe if I have a hankering for a duck egg, I might, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm here today with Crystal and her little one Kaylee, and then Angelina and Justin, and my name is Lydia, and we're all ambassadors for the Office of Multicultural Affairs, and we're about to eat this egg today. Balut is a developing duck embryo. To cook, it is boiled alive and eaten in the shell. It's considered a delicacy that is commonly sold as street food in Southeast Asia, such as the Philippines, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Balut is often served with beer. Okay, for the balut, um, the egg has a top and a bottom, and so the top is the bigger part of the egg, and we're actually going to use the spoon and we'll tap the top of the egg to um, break it, and then we'll just kind of peel the shell back as we go, and then we'll eat the embryo. Anything? Just staring at me, <laughs> saying, don't eat me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Justin is a little scared, so I'm going to try it first. And we're just going to kind of dig around here at oh the... Now I'm not sure what part. <laughs> There's fur in that. There's fur. Okay, I'm. Oh. oh my god. Okay. 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 I'm gonna try this little part and get. I think this is like maybe some of the yolk or the body, but okay, I'll just try a little bit first. It's not bad. But I'll guess I'll put a little salt and pepper on it. It just kind of tastes like watery. But there's like some other things in here. That looks like a beak. That uh, looks like a neck and oh. a spine. <laughs> Alright, alright, I'm done. I'm done. Alright, here we go. We've gotta be brave. Wish me luck, everybody. Hi. Oh, it's not that bad. Yay! I did it. I did it. <laughs> okay. Crystal, I think you should go first. Okay. Wait, it's fair. My whole thing is just leave Lydia. Come over here. <clears throat> Well, um, I'm gonna take a baby bite for Kaylee and me. Baby bite. <laughs> Do you like it? Because <laughs> I don't like eggs, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, I'll just go for that part. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm over here like, <laughs> Maybe dig it out and then. Eat what's under there. Get the thought out. <laughs> you probably 
Actually, that's just called <laughs> like an egg, but it's like... Here, right here. It's too salty. <laughs> just do it. Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Does it help when you do that? <laughs> Do it. Do it. You got it. Go do it. Justin. Justin. <laughs> oh I don't know why. It just tastes like eggs. Oh. Yeah. Y'all say that, Hurry but y'all ate it. I haven't had it. Like, I don't... <laughs> I mean, really salty, salty, salty eggs, but See? yeah, it tastes like eggs. Don't eat that one. It has you, like, too much salt like, on it. Can you, like, give me, like, a countdown? Because I don't have that peer pressure. Okay, five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> Chicken egg. It's probably a little salty because Angelina's is a little overzealous on her seasoning. She doesn't normally cook like that. <coughs> but I will say I was a lot more afraid for no reason because it's not bad. Um, but it did look very uh, um, intimidating before I tried it. Um, yeah. I thought the balut was going to be a lot different from what it was. It definitely was not what I was expecting. I thought it would have like a little chicken in it or a little duck and then it had like the yolk and a bunch of other stuff and I definitely didn't think it was going to have like feathers or fur or whatever that was and um, then I kind of expected it to taste like chicken so it wasn't that at all. <laughs> Um, would I eat this again? I probably would eat it again if I was in like a setting where I was with some friends and I wouldn't look cool because I knew what this balut was, but I don't know that I would actually like go out and buy it on my own and then make the balut, but I would probably eat it again if I was with friends. Um, did I overreact? I think the only time I overreacted was when Kwong ate the whole bird on the spoon and I freaked out. That was the only time I overreacted. Other than that, I think I overreacted the least out of everyone. So Kwong wanted to try um, the balut as well and so we did a little switching out cameraman and participants and now he's gonna take a big bite of the head yeah I'll be trying it so. <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> you just put Kwong don't that you just put a whole mountain of salt on that you're supposed to do that you're, you're supposed, supposed to, do to do that yeah you're supposed to put salt and pepper on oh it. man you're gonna have a heart attack Okay, he's taking... So, a... I'll be trying this out. Is there water for me? Uh, you can use this. <sighs> Whose water is that? I don't know. Okay. So he just... So, I'm gonna try this. This is my first time eating it. So, here we go. He has the whole duck embryo on the spoon with some yolk. It's the biggest bite anyone mm -hmm. has taken. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> kind of salty. Yeah, you. But the texture is like really slimy ish. And Lydia is right, it gives a fishy taste to it. So. But overall, it's not bad though. There's still the yolk in there. Good job. That was amazing. <laughs> I am way more open, I think, to trying new things now. Um, 
I totally think that you need to try everything that you're given the opportunity to try because you should have that experience. Um, and experience is, you know, making you smarter and more knowledgeable. So yeah, I'm definitely more open to trying um, other foods from different cultures. My favorite part of this experience was just getting to hang out with the other OMAs and laughing about um, this crazy new stuff that we were trying and kind of stepping out of our box. So that was the best part. Tacos de Lengua, otherwise known as Cow Tongue Tacos, originated in a region of Mexico. Based on its name, it consists of tortillas, cow tongue, cabbage, cilantro, onions, lime, and chile verde, which is a very spicy green sauce made out of green tomatoes and serrano peppers. This is our cow tongue. Um, I don't know if we can open it. I think it's wrapped in another bag. So, this is a cow tongue. It's really long. We got a big one. So it's just like muscle. Yeah. It's just you have to do just wash it and boil it for two to three hours to fully cook it. And we put garlic, onion, cilantro, cabbage to put on top of it when you eat it. it. Yeah. The tongue's almost ready. The skin is almost able to peel off completely, so just leave it for like 15 more minutes and it should be ready. And then we have the stuff for the salsa over here. So. You have to wait for the oil to heat up and then we'll put these in there and they'll, they'll really get bigger. Like doodles. It's like a snack, a Mexican snack. So good. But I don't think they're ready yet. Are you taking a They're going. Oh, pop. You want to get the other one? No, I'll get this. Now I'm just gonna cut the meat in little pieces so they can fit the, they can fit um, in the tacos. In little squares. Okay, this is Justin, and I'm with Tom and Alex. We are ambassadors for the Office of Multicultural Affairs. And our second food adventure for our culture shock is 
Cow Tongue Tacos, also known as Tacos de Lengua. So we're going to try it out. And Angelina's going to give us the rundown of how to fix our taco the proper way. So. Okay, yeah. well, you put a little bit of salt if you need to. Then you, um, I mean, it's however you want to do it, but you grab the repollo, which is a shredded cabbage. Oh, okay. And then the onion. Onion bread coming up. <laughs> then the cilantro. Little zesty. Okay. <laughs> then you can squirt it with the lime. And then the yeah. Okay. Then the yeah. Don't squirt yourself in the eye. It burns. <laughs> Just aim. Just aim. And then the last Did step you would. <laughs> then the last step would be to put the salsa on top. <laughs> And this also, I've already tried it, it's really it's spicy. Oh, you don't so. want to put too much. Oh, not too spicy. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll find out later. Okay. <laughs> I'll try this one. I'll try this one first then because it's a little bit lighter on the. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ladies first. Oh, look at the channel over here. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that one has a lot. For some reason, I'm not as, like, man. Yeah, I'm not as, like, crazy. Oh, okay. Yep. Going for it. Oh, that's hot. Okay, well, I'm going to try the taco, so let's see how this goes. This is cow tongue. Uh. Mm, chewy. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's chewy. It's also the spicy, but not too much. So yeah, it's a little chewy. It does taste like beef. B beef? Beef. Beef. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like beef. <laughs> um, the salsa is nice because, you know, it has a little kick. But it's not... I don't know, it tastes okay. I'm okay with it. I'm not as freaked out as I was with the um, balut, which is good. <laughs> so, yeah. It tastes like... I'm gonna put a little bit too much on my <laughs> I don't even taste the meat, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> okay, now I do. Okay, wait. <coughs> okay. I'm not sure it's because I'm Asian and I eat a lot of Asian food, cuisines, but it tastes kind of bland to me. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Okay. I say I'm opinion. sorry. I'm that's sorry. Opinion, that's sorry. That's his opinion. That's what he thinks. Or maybe it's just the line that's just taken away from the from the flavor of the beef. The cow tongue, not the beef. <laughs> yeah, this all did give it a little bit more flavor. Yeah, it just it tastes pretty good. To be honest, I don't really. You know, if somebody just just didn't tell me it was cow tongue. They probably would have thought it was beef. So yeah, it was pretty good. Well. Pretty sure I could tell it wasn't beef because I can see the taste buds from the tongue. That might not actually be taste buds, but there's like bumps on there and it looks like a tongue still. So probably. that's pretty cool. All right, I am eating <laughs> cow tongue now, and I hope I didn't put too much lime. You need more juice. You need some more. Oh my god, get in some water. Get in some water. Okay. water. What do you think? It tastes like a fish taco. Fish? Mm-hmm. Fish taco. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> Wait. Cow tongue tasted different. Um, I've never really had anything like it, so I didn't know, really know what to expect. Um, but it, it, to be honest, it tasted pretty good. Um, when you add all the condiments to, to go along with it, it tasted really good. <laughs> seeing the whole process, um, seeing the Hispanic culture and seeing uh, people of that culture make it, 
is really different from what I've experienced in my own, my own culture and what I've been through and what I've seen. Yes, I was really surprised and the fact that um, at first I thought we were going to eat the outside of the cow tongue as well, but I didn't realize that they were going to peel it off. And so that, that, that really struck me because that was what I was scared of the most was the hairs coming off the, off the tongue and I was expected to eat that. <laughs> I would say my favorite part was to see the process. You know, even though I was kind of scared, I still did enjoy it. You had, had good company, um, good environment. It was, it was very satisfying and to see different components come into one meal and to see what that culture brings together to make something really delicious. Uh, that, that to me was my favorite part of this whole process. Okay, so it's Tuesday, October 8th, and we're here at Interfest. We're about to go around and try different fruits from around the world. International Food Festival, otherwise known as Interfest, is where multicultural organizations come together to share food from their native country. This is Nigerian food. Um, I'm not sure what kind of meat it is, but it's really spicy from what they told me. It is pretty spicy. Really, really spicy. Actually. And I'm really curious to know what it is what I'm eating, but it's very spicy. I'm gonna put it down, it's really spicy. <laughs> and then this is so but this fruit from Salvador, it has cheese and beans inside of it. It's pretty good. Um, and I think it's fried flour around it. This is good. This is said it was from Myanmar. But you said you You've had this before, right? This is a banana with coconut milk and sweet potato. And they said it's like a dessert. Okay. That's so weird. So, and we're both trying this right now. Yeah. Are you, you have a banana piece? Yeah, I have a banana For me, it's weird to have the sweet potato because it's really soft. Yeah. It's weird to have the sweet potato because for me, like, I mean, I know it's called sweet potato, but whenever I eat them, it, they're not like super, they're not like candy yams, they're just, yeah. you know, more of a vegetable. So it's weird to have it. I don't know. The other, the coconut milk and the banana just seem so much sweeter than sweet potato. You can taste the milk a lot. So this is from Haiti. Yeah. These are from Haiti. I think it's like a dessert, right? No, he said it's beef. Oh, it is. It's like beef and tomato and um, What's the other part? onions or something. And this is like flour. Oh, okay. Did you, you record? Meat? Or sorry, I know we probably shouldn't send it, but did you get a close up of it? I could go into that better because it looks more familiar. Mm. Cause like that, was like, oh. but this, you know, 
Yeah, it tastes the meat tastes good. Yeah. I like that one. So these are plantains. Plantains? Yeah, plantains. Plantains. Fried plantains from Nigeria. And they're like cut up in small chunks. Because when I've seen them before, they were like the lo like actually long, mm -hmm. you know. But these these are like chopped up like fried um, breakfast potatoes or something. I always smell it first. <laughs> And like in Mexico, we would eat them at the dessert. Really? We put yeah, and then in Costa Rica, it's part of the meal. Hmm. I don't know. Like in the back, in the back of my mouth. I don't know. Maybe not. But like in the back of my mouth, I taste the sweetness. But in the front, <laughs> maybe not front and back, but just like at first, I t I tasted the fried, like the saltyish fried. But then after a while, you can kind of taste the sweet. But then it kind of goes back and forth. I don't know, it's kind of different. I'm gonna try this uh, egg from uh, Bangladesh. And they said it was uh, an egg with spices and onion. So, and it has, out of, is it out of five, the spice, the spicy level? I think it's out of five. And so, um, it said it was a three. So we shall see. <laughs> mm. For some reason that just made me shiver. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Okay, so it kind of just tastes like a boiled egg. But, well, it kind of has some crunchiness to it. Oh, hold on, maybe that was just the remnants of the Haiti one. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, it, I think it still has some other stuff. But we can, we can kind of feel it on the it, uh, like on the outside. Yeah. I don't know if I would start cooking my boiled eggs like this, but like it? Yeah. I know this is really good. So that was Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yeah. Bangladesh. Nigeria. Haiti. Myanmar. Yeah. Or Myanmar. Myanmar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, variety. So you tried the. We both did Nigerian, mm -hmm. but you tried the, it was a meat? Yeah. yeah. What did you think that that was going to taste like? Um, I'm not sure. It looked like it was maybe like any other meat that's just mm -hmm. cooked. Only this one is, once I actually took a bite of it, it was really spicy. Mm -hmm. Like, I was breathing, I could feel it a yeah. little bit in my throat. <laughs> so it was spicier than what I thought, but it was pretty good. I don't know what kind of meat it was, because I didn't know either. <laughs> So I was kind of curious about that, but it tasted good. It was a little kind of like chewy or rubbery. You tried an egg. Yeah. Where was that from? It was, I can't remember it was from India or, I know it was in that area, yeah. like Middle Eastern. Um, yeah, it was, it was like a hard boiled egg, but it had these, this like yellow spice stuff mm -hmm. on it. Um, so when I first looked at it, it looked really different. It looked really different. So yeah. I was I was really scared of that. And but when I tried it, I mean the spice part was different. But you know it was a hard boiled egg. So mm. um, did the inside taste any different, or is this mainly the outside? It was mainly the outside where the spices were, because I don't think like the spices got into and the center. In there. Yeah, but I mean it was definitely the combination of the flavors for the spices was different than what you would normally eat with a boiled egg or... So, the banana coconut, the banana with coconut milk and sweet potato. Mm -hmm. um, you ate that whole thing. Like, every piece. <laughs> you ate it. 
And I, I don't know, what did it taste like? Or what did you think mm -hmm. it was gonna taste like? And then. Um, in a way, kind of what it did taste like, because it had mm. milk and the banana was just the banana was soaked into it. But the banana was just like really, really soft, like super soft, like it kind of falls yeah. apart in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> did you like that about that it was soft? I didn't like that actually. Yeah, I. But, but really, the banana being that soft was. I guess it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Like it was, it wasn't bad taste or anything, but I just didn't like how the banana felt. I guess in my mouth because it was like very like. Yeah. But you ate the whole thing though. Yeah. <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> for me, the texture was. I think that was the main thing for me. Yeah. Like the flavors were. I mean, they weren't necessarily bad, but mm -hmm. sometimes the texture is what can that make was... or break. You know. Okay, so we're about to go to Zaytun, which is a Mediterranean and, and Indo Pak bistro. Um, I checked out the menu online and it looks really good. So let's check it out. So on the menu that I was looking at, they had, um, I saw like Persian and Lebanese and Turkish food and I think a couple other things. So that'll be really interesting. <laughs> so actually, um, we're waiting for three other people. Is it three? Yeah. So, yeah, just waiting for them. People coming. Okay. So, um, and I talked to the owner. Yeah. 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 Did I talk to you on the phone? Yeah. Okay. No, me? Yeah. No, I. The other day? I talked to a woman. Sure. I was looking. Okay, maybe it wasn't you. But um, yeah, we're waiting on three other people and we were just gonna. Zaytun features authentic Mediterranean and Middle Eastern dishes like lamb, grilled kebabs, and even spicy curry. Other specialty cuisines include Persian, Turkish, Lebanese, and Indian Pakistani dishes. They tune in about eight different languages that I know. It means olive. Olive? Olive. Yeah. In Persian, which is Farsi, Arabic, Urdu, Turkish, even in Spanish. In the Spanish, they. In the Spanish, have lots of Arabic influence. In the Spanish, they say aceituna. And we specialize in very authentic ethnic Persian, Turkish, Lebanese and true Indian Pakistani cuisine. My food is the way it's supposed to be. It is as old as centuries, but we only cook when you order. Okay. Huh? in my opinion because we have a whole bunch of yellow and orange and a couple of reds in here but when you eat it there's a lot more flavor than I expected and it's really spicy too it's really good um, I haven't tried the lamb yet so I'm gonna try that the mutton mutton is lamb <laughs> and the mutton's really good too it's really tender. Yeah. This reminds me of fall. It's really, really orange, kind of like a reddish orange. Um, it kind of smells like spaghetti a little bit. Uh, I don't know why to me this part smells like spaghetti. <laughs> but the rice kind of tastes like ramen noodles. It's really good. It tastes like chicken and spaghetti instead of beef and spaghetti, if that makes sense. It's like spaghetti with chicken. <laughs> this is lamb and gyro meat. Gyro meat. I was saying gyro, but Crystal said no. It's gyro. I'm thinking it's gyro. Okay, so this is that, and I guess it has some Greek yogurt in it, which is really interesting. Yeah, down in here. 
Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, and then there's this pepper thing that I'm really kind of scared of because the seeds look really spicy. So that'll be very interesting, but I'm going to try this now. And I've never had lamb. And I don't know which one is which, honestly, because I guess it's two different. I don't know. I don't want to get a huge chunk. Oh, oh. Get some rice, too. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to eat with the rice. I'm not lying to you later. Okay. It does kind of have a spaghetti -y taste. And I have that tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. And it's a little spicy. It's good though. I don't know if that was. That's probably lamb. I don't know. It's good. All right, mine is shrimp. I think covered in some kind of mustard sauce. I'm not a big fan of mustard, so. They're wondering how this will taste to me. <laughs> it's like an orange sauce. Am I supposed to eat everything? It's still pretty hot. I think you put it in my mouth. Okay, it's really no. spicy. <laughs> but look how it looks in there. Doesn't that look like that would be really spicy? It tastes really good. It's spicy. You know how, like, it's not how too spicy, though. Yeah. Um, the le most I liked for my plate was, I think, the spiciness because I like to mix the sauce with the rice that they gave us and it tasted really good if you mix it both and then also with the shrimp. And I love fish, so the shrimp is really good to me. Um, it had a lot of flavor. I don't exactly know what flavor, but it had a lot of it and it was really good. I really liked um, the, it was like a bread-ish thing underneath it. It's kind of like soft um, under the meat. And that was actually surprisingly really good. What I liked the most about my dish was that the taste was really familiar even though it's from a different country. It didn't taste like, oh this is from a different country. It was something that, you know, anybody can enjoy. It was really good. The meat was really tender and it was great. So the Alexander uh, dish that I had at the Zaytun restaurant, I I wasn't really sure. It had lamb in it, which I've never had lamb before, and it had gyro meat, which I think he said it was like a mixture of beef and lamb together. Um, and it also had uh, on the bottom of it, it had like a tomato sauce, and then on the bottom of it, it had like bread and Greek yogurt in the dish. So I was really like. I didn't see those things going together at all, so I, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I've never had lamb, so I just didn't know. I would definitely eat the shrimp dish again. Um, I liked it. It was something completely different to what I'm used to eating. I love seafood, but I hadn't ate it in any kind of sauce before like this one, the spicy sauce that it was in, um, and or with rice. The rice itself didn't have flavor so I kind of mixed the sauce into the rice and it, it tasted really good and also with the shrimp but yeah I would eat it again not often but I think it's good to eat every now and then not so much I guess the only thing would be the sauce it was bright orange so you could tell it had a lot of spices in there um, I'm not sure what all was in there, but it was something different. It wasn't too out of the ordinary where I kind of worried about it, but it was, it was good sauce. I think overall, we weren't in one particular, well, for the ones that I did, I wasn't in one particular culture long enough, like in the cultural setting long enough to learn a lot about it um, but I think just overall I learned about culture in general just the phenomena of culture um, and just realizing how everyone has food everyone has to eat and a lot of the things um, a lot of the foods can be the same item but you cook it in a totally different way you know so I think by that I did learn about culture and just the differences, how many differences there are. Like the banana with the coconut milk and sweet potato, that was probably, out of all of them, that was probably my least favorite, but one of my favorite desserts is the sweet potato pie that um, I guess is like in the black 
American community. So, you know, it's like the same, same ingredient, but a totally different experience with it. So I think overall that's what I took from it is that culture, you can use the exact same things, but have a totally different product at the end of it.